Hello friends, welcome to Oracle Apex tutorial. Today we are going to implement how to change custom authentication in Oracle Apex. So let's log into workspace. Select your application. Click on the application. Click on shared components. Click on authentication schema. So when when the Apex new app is created, then there will be one automatic application express authentication so i am using the current one is that one click on that so here you can see in schema type there are so many options so first one is application express accounts so if you select this one then you can access your app using your workspace credentials so if you select custom then you can you can create a user table and you can log in using that table custom table then the third option is database accounts then http header ldap directory then you can also use a social sign in like google facebook you can use that social login also so we will see how to implement this custom so here in the function authentication function name i have given ecom login this is my package Ecom login is package and authenticate is a function. So we'll see this package. So whatever code is there in that one. So that I will click on SQL workshop. Object browser. Select packages. Here I have my package ecom login. So this is the package specification i have one function authenticate then another function get authorization level so let's see body so here what i am doing is i am i have one function authenticate so i am passing username to this function i am passing password and returning boolean this should be boolean return only either true or false so here I have local variables then the password so here I am checking select password hash so this password hash is a column in my user table which is encrypted password so I am select selecting that password into my variable from users tables and here I am checking <coughs> the condition of the username username and password and this status is whether the user is active user or not so if this condition satisfied means you entered username and password is correct then it will return true so that user can able to log into the application if, if any entered password or username is wrong then this statement will not execute and it will return false that's it very simple let's check in application click on login I will uh, 
I have entered wrong password so you can see login invalid if you enter correct it will allow to login hope this tutorial is helpful thank you thanks for your support please like subscribe and share